Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is a review of Flashback of 2013. My name is Jayzan, and this is a post Let's Play review. You can catch my Let's Plays at the following annotation. Flashback was released in 1992 and then re-released in 2013 by developer VectorCell and pub publisher Ubisoft. Flashback is a sci-fi platform Metrovania shoot em up. And the game is about a guy who wakes up in prison and has his mind wiped. His goal is to recover his memories and find out why his mind was erased, though through his adventures he finds various people from his past that help him recover his memories. Meanwhile, an intergalactic overtaking of the human race has taken place. The controls are a little outdated, but they're usable. You'll find yourself falling off ledges and killing yourself on accident purely because of the controls. I found myself climbing on the edge of a ledge and trying to aim at something and then my guy just walking off the edge on his own. So there's, there's silliness like that that happens and takes place. The music, it was alright. It was about average. Nothing really too great. Nothing that I'd want to call my mom about or anything. It it was it was alright. The graphics were pretty great, though. I really enjoyed the way the graphics looked. And the 2.5D uh, environment really enhanced the game a lot. And it just had really great lighting effects and, and pretty interesting weather effects in certain situations. The game itself was actually way too easy, in my opinion. Um... I remember having a lot more trouble with the original game, and I played this on the hardest difficulty it, it offered. Uh, the only point where I started to have trouble was the very end of the game, uh, when there were just the enemy scaled way differently than like the rest of the game. It was uh, forced difficulty, in my opinion. Uh, but still, I managed to get through that, and the only hard part was the very end on the hardest difficulty. Uh, the original flashback from what I remember didn't have a leveling system and they added that to the to the sequel here and the leveling system was more just like fluff it didn't really appear to affect gameplay in any way as you leveled up you put points in different stats and stuff but I put most of my points in health and I, I don't really notice a whole lot uh, benefit from that and then I later I added points to my uh, damage and again I didn't really even notice anything from that uh, so the leveling system was kinda meh Overall, I think the game was pretty decent. Um, it's worth trying, uh, maybe on sale or something. If you like the original, it's, it's definitely caters to you. It's it's not it's not exactly the same though, which is okay. Remakes, I don't really care if they're a little bit differently. I'm not let like crazy wild if they get if they change things up a little bit. But the game was overall it was a, it was an entertaining platformer worth paying like under ten bucks for which it'll be pretty soon, or if you're listening to this in the future, my future friends, then it's probably like four bucks now. Or even just watch a Let's Play. You can watch a Let's Play on my on my channel. I think I already annotated it, but I'll, I'll do it again for you, and then uh, you can check it out, watch the whole videos, watch the whole series, and tell me what you think. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. This, this was my post-Let's Play review. I already played the entire game, and then I'm doing a review of it now. And, and my, I'm your host, Jayzan. So don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a nice day.